The next question. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa barakatuh. I am from Nigeria and I am a student. I have committed zina but soon afterwards I regretted my actions. Will Allah forgive me or must I be flogged a hundred times? Finally, I need advice on becoming a better Muslim. The question posed by, by a Nigerian student is that he unfortunately committed zina and, and he repents and he has regretted. Will Allah forgive him? Should he be flogged? Point number one. If anyone commits a sin, he should repent for it. And for repenting, there are five criteria. And I've said this earlier also. Number one, he should agree what sin he's doing is wrong. Number two, he should stop it immediately. Number three, he should not commit that sin again. Number four is he should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that sin. Number five, if he can undo it, for example, if he's robbed something, he can give it back. If the act is he has taken something and can undo it, he should undo it, otherwise it's okay. So the fifth point is if he's robbed something, he should give it back. Or if he cannot undo, it's excuse. So there are minimum five criteria. First, agree it is wrong, stop it immediately, not to do it again, repent for it and ask Allah for forgiveness and undo if he can. So now since this Muslim Nigerian student has committed zina, he has regretted. You have agreed it is wrong, you have stopped it, see you don't do it again, ask for forgiveness, inshallah Allah will forgive you. Regarding a question that should you be flogged, then only Allah will forgive you. No, it's not required. Allah also says that the sin you do it, you keep it to yourself. Keep it private. Don't make it public. It is not allowed for you to make your sin public. That's the reason I did not even read your name. So if you do some evil act, try and hide it. Repent. If your evil act is known to the public, and if you go to a court of law, to a judge, then the judge will give you punishment. But if it's not known, if it's personal, it's your act for what you have done, you have done wrong, keep it to yourself, ask forgiveness, inshallah Allah will forgive you. Yes, there have been cases in the past when there were uh, lady companions of the Prophet who didn't want to take any chances and told the Prophet they did zina, the Prophet said go away, come afterwards, come after delivery of the child, come after bed. Later on, then, then the punishment was given. And when some people started cursing her, the Prophet said, the forgiveness, the repentance of hers, if we distribute in Medina, it will be sufficient for the full town of Medina. That means she was of that high level that she wanted to take no chances, that she did a sin and she wanted to repent. But generally, you should not proclaim your sin. You don't have to be punished to be forgiven. If it is known to the public, if you go to court or and even in the court of law, normally there is a makasa de sharia. That if someone goes and says it's okay, fine, they will say, "Are you sure?" And they try and such things they delay and they give a smaller punishment rather than the hat penalty. So in your case also, you ask for forgiveness. Follow the four points. Inshallah, I'll forgive you. There's no requirement of you to be flogged. Inshallah, Allah will forgive you. See to it that you repent and you do more good deeds. What do you have to do? That if you have done a sin, see to it that you do more good deeds. Besides doing the farais of your zakat, give more charity. Besides your normal farais salah, you do more nafil, do more sunnah, do more of your tahajjud. So when you do an evil, you compensate by extra good deeds. Besides the farais, more of the sunnah. So my request to you would be, and your last question was, how can you be a better Muslim? See to it that you are on tawheed that you are sure that you are on tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See to it that you offer five times salah. Besides five times salah, even offer the sunnah and and ghira muqadda along with it. See to it that you get up in the, in the last one third of night and pray your tahajjud. Very important. See to it that the, besides giving your zakat, your faraiz zakat, you contribute a percentage of your income. Besides giving zakat, give a percentage of income, whether it be 10%, whether it be 30%, 40%, the more you give, the better for you. See to it that you fast in the month of Ramadan. And besides the first fast of the month of Ramadan, you also fast on the first nine days of Zulijjah and on the and and also 
on the Muharram, the fasting of Ashura, preferably the three days, 9th, 10th and 11th of Muharram. See that you fast on the Yamul Bid and if possible, even on Mondays and Thursdays. See to it that you increase your Ibadah, not don't fast, go for Hajj. And inshallah, read the Quran daily with translation. Inshallah, you'll be on Sirat al Mustaqeen and you'll see that every year you keep on increasing your Ibadah, increasing your actions, increasing your Sunnah, so that you become a better Muslim every time. Hope that answers the question.